Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well and today. Ooh, we've got a good one and you thought that the media would let it go. You thought that the media would just, you know, focus on the fact that maybe this is going to tell a good story. Maybe this film is going to have a great character arc, a, a brilliant performance by Brie Larson. And again, I think she has the potential. I, I am not someone who's going to attack Brie Larson because I know what she's capable of. I know that she's a talented actress. I've seen her in all the different independent films that she's been a part of. Room, she deserved the Oscar that she got for that role because of how damn good she was. But no one can deny, no one with eyes and ears can say that what we saw in that trailer was a compelling character. And, and, and now the fact that I'm saying that and there are idiots here on Vice and also all over the internet who are saying anyone who says that is a sexist is just bringing the whole conversation back. So basically, in today's society, you can't criticize a woman for anything. You can't criticize a person of color for anything. And if you do, you are either a racist or a sexist. And the reason why this is problematic, the reason why this causes so many issues is because when you just cheapen those words, when, when you throw in people who are not any of those things into the same a category as a freaking Nazi or a freaking uh, literally a sexist, someone who beats women and thinks women are inferior. When you throw everyone into that same category, that's a problem. And, and you are the ones, Vice, everyone who's saying these things, you are the one that's constantly dividing people and separating people from each other. You want to bring people together. You want to have a society of true equality. Stop pushing this SJW identity politics nonsense. Just because people are criticizing her performance in this trailer, because I'm sorry, it's worth criticizing because she's boring in the trailer. And, and it's not because she's a woman. It's because that's performance. If a man had given the same performance, guess what? We would be saying, oh, that's a really boring performance. So stop trying to turn this into a gender thing when it has absolutely nothing to do with that. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Gender is different now because, oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, my God, I'm sorry about that. Oh, my goodness. I need to check my privilege. Anyway, the Captain Marvel actress responded perfectly to some sexist fan complaints. Sexist. Oh, sexist complaints. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're sexist. Yeah, if we, if we criticize her, we're just sexist. Yeah. I'm a man, I'm a white man, so automatically, no matter what, I could just sit here and people would just say, oh, well, you're white and you're a male, or you identify as a cisgender male, and so therefore, you are automatically a hateful person. No, no. I have, I have very, I mean, do I have anger and frustration? You're absolutely right about that. But I have very little actual hatred in my heart. You know, I, I'm a devout Christian, and I do not try and let, and obviously I'm a, I'm a person, so I fail at this, but I don't try and let that kind of anger brew up in me and turn into actual hatred. I don't hate anybody. So for people to throw out these words and say, oh, you hate this race, you hate this gender, is just so disingenuous. And again, it's cheapening the words. And when you cheapen the words in our society, you create not only more tension, not only more separation among all peoples, but also you let the people who are actually doing these things get away with it. The fact that you're going to put them in the same category, the fact that you're going to put actual racist, actual KKK members, actual sexist into the same category as people who are just being critical of a trailer, that, that, that should tell you something. Just think about that for a second. Just get out of your SJW bubble for a second. <laughs> this is an experiment. Again, if, if you're someone of this ilk, please listen. Try this out for a second because it's probably going to make you a hell of a lot more happier. You might think, you know, oh, you're just angry and you're just an angry white male. It's like, no, I, I just get very much into this, but I can easily go pa go through my day and not even have a second thought about this stuff because guess what? There are more important things going on. But no, you had to write this. You had to write this. But seriously, breathe in for a second and think to yourself, is someone being critical of a movie trailer that happens to have a female character the same as someone who attacks, mistreats, and honestly thinks themselves that a race or gender are inferior to another. You realize that when you put those two people into the same category, again, when you throw around races and sexes, you are putting them into the same category. When you do that, if you do not see the problem with that, if you don't understand, if you cannot fathom why that's problematic, I can't help you, and I don't think anyone else can, because it requires you to step out of your bubble and understand what reality actually is. 
See, I like to live in the real world. I like to live in reality. I don't like to put myself in bubbles. Obviously, am, am I biased? Absolutely. I have biases. Everyone has biases. But when you let those biases define who you are, when you let those biases infiltrate your very soul, infiltrate your very character, that's when it can cause a lot of problems. But anyway, it says, the Captain Marvel trailer that dropped Tuesday excited fans not just because it showed a badass Brie Larson showing off the usual suit of superpowers, flying super strength, shooting energy from her fingertips, but because it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe first centered first film centered around a woman. So again, this is the big talking point. This is what every single liberal publication is talking about. Oh my gosh, she's a woman. Oh my gosh, she's a woman. And, it, and when you keep talking about that, when you keep that as the focus, you're losing it. You are losing the battle. Yeah, you might make your SJW friends happy, but you are losing the battle with general audiences because general audiences can read this and say, why are they so obsessed? Why do they care so much about this? I just want it to be a good film. And it's going to cause people to look at the trailers, to look at the film and say, oh, no, this is not nearly as good because I'm seeing what the media has been saying and now I'm reading into the film because that happens. Even if a film by itself in isolation wouldn't actually go into uh, certain identity politics, sometimes the media around a film, sometimes the coverage of the film can can essentially poison the mind so much that when you go in, doesn't matter what the film is because you're already going to have that mindset going in. So you're, you're already setting up this film for failure by trying to put it up on this pedestal instead of just treating it like a regular film. And guess what? When, when you do this, when you when you make it so, oh my goodness, look at this, this, this is all about gender. When you do that, you are making it problematic for future films because if people were just to look at this as a regular film with a superhero, with, with, with an actor, if people were just to look at it in that way, and guess what? Media and culture go hand in hand. The media shapes the culture. The media has a very big hand in that. And so when you do not take that seriously, when you do not take your job seriously, what you do is you create this confusion and you create this environment where you're going to have people that are going to reject this film, not because of anything in the film itself, though obviously I think that the trailer alone kind of presents some things we're talking about, the her O, for example, but still we see this happen with other films where the media's portrayal of the film ends up becoming what people perceive the film to be even when they actually go to see it and you know you can see the same thing with black panther again black panther to me had a few moments like that but i think that the media portrayal of the film was absolutely a heck of a lot worse than the actual film itself so it goes on to say, but the trailer also brought out the usual sexist trolls. Ah, yes, the usual white male sexist trolls. A stew of mostly male social media users prejudged Larson's performance, calling it wooden and claiming she ought to smile more. A very common form of harassment that objectifies women by implying their emotions and appearance ought to be controlled and that they're for the pleasure of others. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Seriously. You were going to say that someone calling her performance, based on the trailer, wooden which is being critical of the performance that we saw because she was. She was single noted. She said the same words the same way with the same exact tone. That's not a subjective view. That's an objective view of what happened in the trailer. I pray and hope, and I've said this when I did my own reaction, I pray and hope that the rest of the film she shows a little bit more emotion. When I say emotion, I mean different levels because if I just talk like this, the entire time, if I just have the same level, the entire time, if I say the same words, the entire time, if I keep talking like this the same way, the entire time, guess what? That gets repetitive and it gets boring. Why? Because it's wooden. So stop trying to say, oh, you, you said that her performance is wooden in the trailer, so therefore, oh my goodness, that means that you must be a sexist. No, that's, that, that's not how the real world works, so just shut up and, and just step back, please. And then the whole, oh, claiming smiling more is, is, is being objective, is objective, is objectifying someone and is being harassment. Really? It's telling, I mean, I tell men and women to smile more i mean i'm sorry like how in the heck are you going to use that as an example saying oh my goodness sexism she he said to smile more we have a sexist here no that again that's not how the real world works oh boy one totally normal well-adjusted person went so far as to photoshop the smile onto her face on the movie's promotional material so yeah i can see i can see what you're doing there trying to say oh this person's not normal i'm sorry what's what's wrong with him doing that what is wrong with him doing that what's the big deal we see people doing photoshops all the time of both men and women. So now you're starting to say, oh my goodness, this person's messed up. Okay, so what about the people on your side who do the same thing to other people? Are they also not normal? Are they also messed up? You see, you, you, you at least got to be consistent when you talk about these things. But hey, uh, Turd Flinging Monkey, that's a great name. <laughs> like, I'm sorry if you can't understand. Turd Flinging Monkey, that's the name of this channel. That's the name. That's the name. <laughs> that's the name of this Twitter page. I'm like, like, that's hilarious. That's funny. Get a sense of humor. Dear Lord. Oh, my goodness. Look, look at that. They did the same thing. 
Oh my god. I say Larson responded with an Instagram story that featured Marvel posers with smiles photoshopped onto the male hearers, hilariously highlighting the hypocrisy of her sexist critics. It's not hypocrisy. Again, you could have done this on your own and it still would have been just as funny. This is just as funny as this. You coming out and trying to say, oh, look at this. Look at, uh, oh, you look at the hypocrisy here. It's like, no. Now you are going too far. Now you are being a freaking idiot. Geeks of Keller. Oh, yes. Let's identify ourselves. Yes, let's isolate ourselves. Let's put ourselves into those tiny little boxes where we only identify by our sex. We only identify by our, by our race. We only identify these things. And let's close ourselves off from each other. That's, that's what you're promoting. That's what SJWism in general promotes is let's isolate each other. Let's go into our own little groups, our own little corners, and pray that everything else happens and everything's fine. Everything's fine, and then we'll complain about everyone who's not in our group. And if you say anything about our group, oh, then you're a racist, you're a sexist. We're going to cling very tightly to this. And that's a problem. That's a major, major problem. Because you are creating more and more division on a daily basis. Other Twitter users usually <laughs> quickly followed suit, showering us with numerous creepily photoshopped male smiley faces. Again, you could have done male or female. They're, they're creepy. If a person is not actually smiling, guess what? It automatically becomes creepy. Captain Marvel is a fighter pilot who gets superpowers and spends her time fighting off a band of shape-shifting aliens and whatever else. She doesn't have time for anyone telling her to smile. Yes, and there it is right there. Oh, she's a strong, independent woman. She doesn't have time for sexist comments telling her to smile. This is what we're dealing with now. This is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with someone saying that me being critical, I cannot be a critic. My, my criticism is not valid. My criticism is not valuable because of the fact that I am a white male. And if that is what gives you credibility, if you're saying that race and gender give you more credibility, then we see that as a problem because guess what? That's what we have going on in our current society. If you're paying attention to American politics right now, that is what is going on right now. It's all about it's, it's all about this sense of identity. And if you have one identity, then it is better than the other. When the truth is, when the reality is, is that we're all the same. And if we treat each other the same, guess what happens? Peace and prosperity. But until that happens, and again, both sides of the equation here, because there are definitely people, again, you know, SJWism usually is, is contributed to or attributed to far left. And we have far right people too. Can we have far right people too who are problematic? But most people are somewhere in the middle. Most people don't go to either camp, but both are doing a very good job at separating all of us, of creating division. And guess what happens? Society crumbles. But anyway, guys, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Do you think that this kind of talk, do you think that this kind of commentary on this film and also on films in general is dangerous? Like, I honestly do think that this is dangerous because when you say that someone just saying a performance isn't very good is automatically grounds for calling someone a racist or a sexist, I'm sorry, that's a problem. That is a major problem. Unless someone actually does something that is actually racist and sexist, um, that's the only time that you should ever call someone that. Otherwise, you're just throwing the word around, you're cheapening the word, and you're causing more division. But I would love to hear all guys' thoughts on this in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. You are all amazing people. I'm going to be doing a stream tonight. Uh, we're going to be watching Blade Runner, the final cut tonight. So I'm very excited for that. And guys, I appreciate your comments so much. I try and read all of them that I can. Uh, now I'm just getting so many more, so many comments. It's just crazy. Uh, but I really do try to read every single one of them. So thank you so much for your comments. I'm going to try and read them. I try to respond to the ones that ask a question or uh, that bear a response. And I do the very best I can. But thank you all so much for y'all's patience and for your love. It really does mean a lot to me. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And as always. God bless.